All right. Thank you for joining us for this uh, noonday prayer meeting. And just want to ask you to uh, be much in prayer. And uh, I know this is the time of year that we're to be thankful and be joyful. And uh, we've got a passage of scripture I'm going to read and then I'm going to pray. And I just want you to remember our church. Pray for our church. Pray for our country. And uh, just keep those, uh, our sick folk in mind, uh, the, our cancer list and, and just the ministries around our church. I do want you to pray for those. Now I'm going to read in Habakkuk chapter number 3 and verse number 17 through 19. The Bible says, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind's feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places. Uh, this is a, a passage of scripture. A uh, great passage of scripture that reminds us that uh, we are to rejoice in God, rejoice in our salvation, the God of our salvation, uh, even in troubled times, even in the dark times, even uh, whenever, even in the, you know, whenever we have plenty, plenteous and not so plenteous, we are to rejoice in the Lord and be thankful uh, for his goodness to us uh, in our lives. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we are thankful. Lord, uh, for your goodness to us, we thank you uh, first for Jesus and uh, him dying on Calvary for our sins and paying the sin debt that we could not pay. God, we thank you so much for that, giving your only begotten son uh, to take our place. And Lord, I, I, I just thank you so much for my salvation. I thank you for the simplicity of salvation, just trusting and believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, your son. Uh, uh, Lord, we thank you for that. And God, I pray, uh, uh, Lord, that you would be with our church. Lord, I pray for Cornerstone. I pray that you would touch our church family and, and our church, uh, uh, um, the missionaries that we support all around the world. I pray that you would touch them. Uh, and Lord, we just thank you so much uh, for being able to support those missionaries and them being out on a foreign field and some here at home in the United States. Lord, we pray for them that you would touch them, give them strength, bless them, Lord. And Lord, I pray uh, again for our church members, the ones that are sick. Lord, we pray for them on beds of illness. Lord, you just restore their health to them, uh, give them their strength back. And Lord, especially the ones that have, uh, went through this uh, spell with COVID, now, Lord, it's a rough, rough spell with them. I pray uh, that you would touch them, Lord, and others uh, I know of friends, that longtime friends uh, that have had it and are still struggling with it. I pray that you would touch them and watch over them, uh, God, and pray that you would just watch over us as a, a whole. Lord, be with our pastor, Lord, as he leads us. We thank you for him and ask you to give him the wisdom and knowledge he needs uh, as he guides and directs our church. And God, I pray that you would be with uh, Brother Ted. And Lord, just thank you for him and, and all he does here. Lord, just pray for uh, him. And, and Lord, I pray that you would be with our deacons. Lord, we thank you for them and their families. Pray that you'd watch over them, uh, Lord, and, and their duties uh, to you and our church. And Lord, I pray for our ushers. Uh, the ladies out front that take uh, role and and uh, other ladies that uh, do there's ladies that do decorating and uh, are decorating our church and and Lord uh, Miss Linda for cleaning we thank you for her and Lord we pray that you would be with uh, those ladies that do the cooking for us Lord and funerals and visitation night and Lord we we just thank you so much for the people that do so much behind the scenes and we don't see them. Lord, we thank you for those folks uh, just giving their time. The folks that clean the buses, I'm so thankful for them uh, keeping our buses clean, gassed up, and, and service. Lord, they are a blessing. Uh, I, I know that they're a blessing to those kids that ride the bus and the bus drivers. And Lord, I do pray for our bus drivers, our bus ministry as a whole. Pray for them 
and the families that they bring uh, to church. Just pray uh, uh, for those families and the bus drivers. <clears throat> and Lord, I pray that you would be with our choir. And Lord, as we are preparing uh, uh, for our practicing for our Christmas cantata and the living Christmas tree, and Lord, I pray that you just bless all of that, lifting up your name uh, uh, through that and wanting to give the gospel to folks, uh, Lord, uh, during this Christmas time of year. And Lord, I pray that you would be with uh, uh, Brother Terry and Brother Larry as they lead. Uh, also, Lord, I want to pray for the kids program that you'd be with uh, uh, those folks involved there with Colt and Bailey and Jerry and Lisa, and Lord, and others that uh, will be involved in that. And Lord, I pray that you'd give them wisdom and knowledge, Lord, as they practice um, their play and, and their songs, and that you'd just be with them. And Lord, I pray that you'd be with our nation. Lord, I pray for our nation. Uh, Lord, we need you in a mighty way. We need revival. In our, in our country, where we need uh, uh, Christians to turn to you, Lord, and not to go with the ways of the world. Uh, we need to uh, stand. We need to stand, Lord, and I pray that you give us the boldness and the courage to stand for, for you in this time. We need to turn to you, Lord, and turn our nation around for you. And Lord, I pray that you would be with our uh, uh, President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, that you'd watch over them through uh, through the first of the year. And God, I pray that you would just touch uh, their lives. And Lord, just thank you for what they have done for our country these last four years. Lord, they have uh, given so much liberty back to the American people, putting America first. And Lord, I pray that that continues. And Lord, I pray that you would just uh, watch over our senators, our congressmen, congresswomen, and we'll watch over them. And Lord, be with our, our, um, the police departments uh, uh, around, Lord, uh, around our country during this holiday season especially, Lord. And God, just uh, be with them, give them wisdom and knowledge as they uh, come in with split decisions they need to make. I pray that you would touch them, watch over them. And God, just be with the EMS workers, the firefighters and rescue squads, Lord, around the country. Lord, just watch over and be with them, Lord, uh, on, the daily, on their daily jobs. And Lord, I just uh, thank you so much for what you will do with them. And Lord, I just thank you for this time of year, Lord, just being thankful. And Lord, I am thankful for, for you. And Lord, we love you and thank you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name. Amen.